Hey, what's up? This is Alex Jones here. Summer equals warmer weather equals you probably want to wear something a little bit lighter weight than those traditional tech wear cargo pants. But maybe you also don't want to go for shorts. Maybe you want to keep that full length, but have something that's made of a little bit of a lighter material. And if that's the case, then don't worry, there's a couple of cool options, two of which I've gathered up for this video for a bit of a back-to-back -back review slash comparison. One of the two from Riot Division, their two pocket pants coming in at the more affordable price of $100, and then over on the premium side of things, and something that certainly breaks from the norm in terms of what one might expect from a techwear pant, is the Cloudburst Forecaster coming in at $340. So we're going to have a look at some on-body shots, of course, and go through some of the advantages and the specifications of these two very, very different pairs of techwear pants. We're going to start off with Riot Division because the style is certainly more reminiscent of a traditional techwear sort of thing, albeit with a reduced weight. So you've got that modern cut, you've got a bit of a tapered silhouette, you've got those additional pockets on the thigh there as well, and of course that ubiquitous all-black colouring. You might notice from the footage here, I certainly did after putting these on, that these are more of a slim tapered silhouette than they are a wide or baggy drop crotch kind of fit with a taper. These are a little bit different to say the ACG cargo pants for example. There's certainly a bit less room in the seat and in the thighs than what you might expect. That's not to say they're too tight though, I've got, let's face it, above average sized thighs and they fit me okay, so if you're a little bit slimmer, you'll probably be fine as well. So this would suit something a little bit less bulky on the top half than most tech wear stuff, which is good, which is appropriate of course, since we're into those summer months, you're gonna be wanting to wear less. So the fit of these pants lends them to being used more in summer appropriate tech wear outfits, but it's not just about the fit. Riot Division described these as the ultimate or the ideal summer pants, something like that, on their website. And it's really the material that that's down to. These certainly feel appropriate, they're very thin and very lightweight, and there's no lining on the inside either, which means that these have quite a dry kind of finish to them. And that's certainly good when you're going to be out walking or doing any kind of activities in warm weather. I did go out for a walk in these and although obviously it's very hard to quantify or test this, it felt like my legs had the ability to breathe. It didn't feel too kind of restrictive and cloying. One thing that I did notice though, and this is again inevitable with this coloring particularly, is that in direct sunlight, black is gonna absorb the sun more than anything else. So they are gonna slowly heat up because of that. And I did notice that after a while, the material itself was starting to get quite hot, which in turn was making me a little bit warmer than I would have liked. And if you start getting a bit hot, you'll start noticing that slimmer shape on the thighs a little bit more. So although it does pave the way for using some lighter weight stuff on the top half, that fit can be a little bit of a mixed blessing. But I think if you're smart with these, you don't wear them in blazing hot midsummer conditions. And instead, just when it's warm out, then I think you'll be fine. And you'll certainly be far better off than if you attempted to wear a standard or more winter appropriate pair of cargo pants. Because of the light weight of these, you can cuff them quite easily as well, definitely more so than you could with any other full length cargo pant. So that's a further option when things are quite warm, you can let a little bit more heat escape through the bottom of the pants than you would do ordinarily. And you can certainly use that in outfits to accentuate that summer-ready preparedness or summer-ready style and draw a bit of attention to whatever footwear you happen to be wearing. One other thing on the material is that it looks quite different in the product shots to how it does in real life. Reason for this is that it seems to crease very easily and I can't see it being that easy to keep them uncreased. So, so long as you keep that in mind, and personally, I don't really think it's a bad thing. I think it kind of adds to the look of these that they're a little bit crinkly. It somehow just gives a kind of cool, relaxed, summery sort of vibe, almost like a linen to me. So I think it's all right. Onto the pockets briefly. There's two at the front, as you might expect. Um, they're surprisingly far forward, so they're a little bit unusual, but they're also quite roomy, which is good. On the back, it's a similar story. There's two zipped pockets, and again, these are surprisingly roomy, so there's quite a lot of storage capacity in those four alone. But of course, the extra two pockets, which give these pants their name, situated on the thigh there, 
are definitely one of the best things about these pants in terms of their look. They have this cool pleat running down them, they're at a little bit of an angle, and again, they're surprisingly roomy, so you can get a whole bunch of stuff in there if you need to. You do have to be careful with it, of course, because they're quite lightweight pants, you can easily deform the shape of them by putting very heavy things in there, but the capacity is there if you're desperate and if you need it. There's also some belt loops, so of course, you can use your tech-approved belt. I've got a Riot Division one here, which has a little fidlock closure, which is pretty cool, but of course there's a whole bunch out there that you could use instead. I think they've done just enough with that to make it look like a nice modern pair of tech wear pants without going overboard and including loads of straps and stuff for no reason. Particularly as they are summer pants, you want these to have a bit of a lightweight feel to them rather than lots of unnecessary details. And although these are certainly summer appropriate, I think you could wear these all year round if you were prepared to wear leggings underneath these. That would sacrifice a bit of breathability of course, but if you wanted to just have one pair of cargo pants but you want something that you can definitely wear in warmer weather, then these could be a pretty good thing to go for. These aren't pushing too many aesthetic boundaries, so I think they're fairly versatile and you can wear them with a lot of other tech gear, particularly lighter weight stuff, to create something that of course still gives that tech wear look, but doesn't quite have the weight of a full winter outfit. On to Cloudburst now with their Forecaster pan. This is a brand that I'll probably talk a bit more in detail about in a future video because they sent me quite a few things, including the Orion jacket, which is sitting back there very nicely, but it's currently a bit too hot to actually try it on and give a full review of it. But anyway, they're a Russian brand. They've been making more premium priced and premium featured techwear gear for a while now. Generally, their gear is very armor-like, very heavy duty, very feature rich. So it's quite a surprise that they've come out with these forecaster pants, which are much more lightweight. And you can immediately tell, of course, that this is a very different option to the Riot Division two pocket pants. So they definitely require a little bit of an in-depth look. Let's check it out. The shape of these is more relaxed than the two pocket pants. They've got a bit of a drop crotch. They've got a little bit more space around the thigh as well. In terms of shape alone, I think these are pretty much bang on. I really, really like them. Similarly to Riot Division, Cloudburst have used a very thin, very lightweight material. Although this feels a little bit grippier and perhaps a little bit stronger, a bit less susceptible to being ripped. It's actually made from a modified Tyvek. Now Tyvek is known for being very lightweight and very water resistant, but also having very, very bad breathability. So this is a modified version which apparently increases that breathability level. Obviously that's a hard thing to test, but it doesn't feel as kind of cloying as Tyvek generally does. Often if you put on a Tyvek boiler suit, you can immediately feel that you're starting to heat up and starting to sweat, whereas you certainly don't get that with these. They feel a little bit less papery than the Riot Division pants, and they feel a bit harder wearing as well, whilst being a similar weight. But the texture and color of these is where things start to really get interesting. As you can see, these have pretty much thrown the traditional tech wear formula on its head and gone for this very, very wild, silvery white kind of look, as opposed to the traditional traditional black. In pictures I was a little bit skeptical as to the look and the colouring of these, but in person and being able to see them up close, you can really appreciate that complexity of the colour and the texture here. Every single one of these is a little bit different and a bit unique, and I can definitely see that. I can't think of anything that uses this kind of colouring and texturing, so it's great that they're willing to do something a bit different and be a bit unique, and these are certainly going to turn heads, and they're certainly incredibly recognisable if you ever see anyone else wearing these. These certainly take inspiration from the lunar core side of techwear, which in many ways is the opposite to the traditional kind of things, using retro futuristic ideas, space travel, very light colours. Using very light colours is a great idea in summer, and it will certainly solve that problem that we noticed with the Riot Division pants, where they tended to absorb sunlight. Silver is pretty much as good as you're going to get in terms of reflecting sunlight. What kind of features do we have in these pants? Well, there's certainly less pockets than on the Riot Division 2 pocket pants. There are literally two pockets on these ones, the two front pockets, there's nothing on the back, and there's no additional cargo pockets or anything like that. I think that's because that colour and the texture, they're doing all the work you need in terms of the visual aspect here. You don't need anything else going on. What these pants lack in pockets though, they certainly make up for with this built-in belt system. There's a separate buckle on either side, so you can pull this as tight or as loose as you want, it's very adjustable, and then it clips to two other straps that are 
are attached to the legs of the pants. This means you can get quite a uniform tightness as opposed to a belt tightening in one place, and it looks pretty cool having these straps on each side of the leg. There's also an additional one just for fun, although this one's removable, so you don't have to have this if you don't want to. But nonetheless, it's a very tech wear approved look having this built in belt, and it means that you don't need to have one separate. It's not necessarily the most practical option, it certainly takes longer than that Riot Division Fidlock belt does to do up and undo, but the final look I think is very impressive and again really takes that unique theme that these pants are going for and runs with it. The other detail here is that these pants come equipped with some leg wraps that you can use if you want to. They don't really serve much of a practical purpose, they tighten up the bottom half of the leg a little bit, so if you want to adjust that fit then you can do so, although they will of course change the aesthetics quite a lot and that is the main reason for these. If you really want to go for that strap heavy all out look then you can loop these round kind of how you would tighten up a pair of boots. I don't really think you need them, I think these have a really nice fit without the leg wraps but if you are determined to take that strap heavy look to the extreme then by all means stick them on, have a mess around and see what kind of looks you can create with it. Although the shape of these is great for tech wear and I really like the colour and the texture that they've used, it does make it quite difficult to pair with other things. A lot of traditional tech wear options are just not going to look quite right here. I did try out a few different things and I didn't really find anything in my current wardrobe that I was particularly comfortable with. As I mentioned earlier, they fit into that Lunacore aesthetic, so if that's something you want to get into, or you have other things that could fit that style, then by all means take it and run with it, because I think what you'll end up with is something with a great fit that looks super unique and is also going to fit into um, what is quite a rare aesthetic. And personally, now I've got these, I'm going to be on the hunt for other things to wear with them because I really think they deserve getting some airtime because they just are super cool. So in conclusion, two extremely different pairs of pants here. On the one side, we have what seems like a very traditional looking tech wear option from Riot Division, but bringing a little bit lighter weight to the table so that you can continue to wear things a little bit into warmer weather, whereas a traditional winter pair of cargoes or all season cargoes would perhaps be a little bit restrictive or start getting a bit warm. And then Cloudburst come in with something that's totally different, very left field, and bringing across an aesthetic which isn't really seen at all. And although Cloudburst's option is expensive, I think they're offering something that no other techwear pant really provides in that colour and texture. And that plus the unique fastening mechanism makes these a very special pair of pants, and ones that are definitely worth your attention. Are they an impulse purchase? Of course not, they're something that you consider a lot more. But if you're thinking about them and you think, yeah, you know what, this is a look that I want to subscribe to, then these pants are the way you do it. And that's been everything on these two pairs of lightweight, summer-ready tech wear pants. Let me know which of the two you prefer, the traditional or the more unique side. And if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like, and thank you so much for watching. And of course, I will catch you next week in the next video. Shout out Theon JP, standard YouTube shenanigans, I'm afraid. Um, to make sure you don't miss anything, there is the little bell, you can ding that, make sure you always get a notification. And also, I tend to upload videos at exactly the same time every week, which is Sunday, 6pm BST, so get that in your mind, and hopefully you won't miss any in the future. Shout out to everyone as well that enjoyed the slightly longer video format and gave their feedback on that. Um, it's quite difficult, to be honest, to do things that are that long every single week, but I'm glad that you liked it, and I will do my best to do some longer videos going forward. This is the end of this video now, but if you want to check out some more, they'll be going up there somewhere, so you can check those out. And of course, if you haven't subscribed, there's going to be a little circle-y thing over there. You can hit that, click the bell, make sure you get all the notifications and all that sort of thing, and you can check out the next video as soon as it's up.